Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. This is your host, as always, Wayne Neal. And uh, here we are in Hellfire Peaks. Hell yeah! Looks a little bit like Pterodactyl Land, don't you think? I'm kidding. In case you uh, you didn't get that. Anyway, so here we are back in the Stomping Plains, as uh, as the name implies on the bottom of the screen. As I was saying that. But we can now do this as just Banjo, because we have the Shack Pack. Yeah, no, the Snooze... The Snooze Cruise, that's what it is. Isn't it? Let's get right up in his face, yeah. See, so basically, this takes a while to do as Banjo. Because of, uh... Well, basically, as you can see, just because you have to keep sleeping every time you get to one of these damn holes. I'm not going to be able to make it to that one. I might just fuck that up. Yep. <laughs> oh, Banjo, your head's so flat. Anyway. Yeah, I fucked that up. I went the wrong way. You're supposed to go right up the middle, kid. That's what my uh, elementary school teacher told me. Go right up the middle, kid. I don't know what it means, but she told me it. It might have been something sexual. Ow. No, you have to sleep for longer than like 10 minutes, dude. You're not gonna get any health back doing that. Holy crap. So yeah, how is everyone? Things are going so well in Wii Neo Land. Unfortunately though, we uh, had to raise park admission fee because, well, too many kids were getting on the rides and not knowing what they were about. Uh, yeah. I took that uh, joke a little bit too far there, don't you think? DJ Master Mix Mike. Uh, yeah, I took it a little too far there, we know. Thanks. Anyway, <laughs> lame jokes aside, how is everyone? A uh, few things. I recently found out that I'm moving again, so you guys are going to get some lovely vlogs about that. Hey, Banjo, you're not leaving this world without me. Oh, well, thanks for spoiling it that it leads to another world. Fucking Kazooie, fucking bitch, fucking feather bird bitch. Doesn't know her place in the world. See, this is why people recommend you wait to do Kazooies because um, you could do these both at the same time and just get everything over here at once, and it's really helpful. But we said screw it and decided to just do it separately. So let's go in here and grab our first jiggy for Hailfire Peaks. And yes, that actually counts as a Hellfire Peaks Jiggy, not a uh, Pterodactyl Land one. So, hold on, I actually wanted to view my totals for Pterodactyl Land uh, to see if we, uh, we do not have everything. Wow, 80 out of 100 notes? Did I see that right? What a slacker. My god. Well... <laughs> Um, I'll be sure to look for those, but not today, because you guys are probably like, <laughs> Oh no, he missed notes, he's going to have to look for them for the whole episode. Don't worry, I won't go look for notes the entire episode. We'll actually move on to the new world right now. Because now, we actually have to go to the new world. Because that doesn't really count now, does it? Yeah, I found out I'm moving recently. Uh, E3 was super lackluster. Um... Literally, it was one of the worst E3s of all time. Uh, but, um, what else has happened recently? I quit my job, you guys know that. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, Hellfire Peaks. Two years, finally I've made it to the warmth of the lava world. With a belly full of water. Oh, Gobi. Lava train station, so we know there's a train station here. Gobi, that water ain't gonna last, and you and I, everybody knows it. It's just a simple fact of life. So as you can see, they're showing off the world a little bit to you. And this world is completely based around lava. But it's uh, unique in the fact that it has two sides. It has a lava and it has an ice side. Um, I think you get most of your jiggies, though, on the ice side. Uh, not on the lava side. 
but first things first. There's our first warp point. Now all this water, good one, is too hot to stop, if you know what I mean. Uh, we can't get in the water around here. We can take these pathways to get back up to where we just fell off. All the enemies are based around fire, so we can't hurt them. We got these hand things, which are annoying as fuck. So won't leave you that damn alone. Won't leave you the damn alone. Let's just love my grammar. Oh no! We don't. Uh, what is over there? Well, this is Mumbo Skull, but I don't think there's much to find here. The real kicker is actually going down here. I think. Yeah. Hey, I don't recall you paying for a tour of my volcano. I'm gonna burn your furry head. And if we just stand near this building, he's gonna miss when firing his little meteor. And it's gonna hit that. And basically break it, and now we have flight. So, awesome. Unfortunately though, now because we've tempered the wrath, as you can clearly see, of the dragon that lives here, um... We now are going to have constant fireballs raining down on us, which will make getting around a lot more difficult. And I could have walked over here and not really fly, but oh well. Here's our first little switch that we're going to get, and it's actually a shortcut from there to there. Yeah, pretty big shortcut, right? Because we totally couldn't just fly over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna cook you, then I'm gonna eat you. Oh, hey, Globo. I didn't even see that. Wow, way to go. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I actually don't think you can. Oh! Kill them. I actually thought I was dying right there. Well, I am dying, but you know. It's a. Oh. Now. Okay, Banjo and... Whoa. That's not where I want to be. <laughs> Banjo and Kazooie both learn separate moves here. Uh, but yes, once again, there are even more moves to learn that we don't have yet. But unfortunately, I'm not entirely sure where it is. So I'm definitely going to go scouting for that first before I split up and try to find it. Of course, these notes are always welcome. I think all of your notes are on the lava side, but don't quote me on that. I might be wrong. Uh, okay, well, we got more notes, so we might as well grab them. Whoa! Before, you know, taking a long walk off a short fuck. Oh, please tell me this isn't Banjo's move. This might be. Yeah, no way, son. I'll only teach you this once, once you got rid of that dumb bird. You're so funny. Oh, thank you. I actually forgot he does that. <laughs> okay, well then, yeah, time to get back to the entrance of the world. Which is down there. Please don't land in the boiling water. Okay. You know, you could, and then shoot me over here. When you land in the boiling water, it just throws you back to where the last place it thought you jumped from, so... Clearly it was wrong, but, you know, like I'm anyone to complain. Actually, now I'm thinking about how do I get up there as Banjo? Because I can't go through all those tunnels and shit. I guess I could go up those steps right there. You know, for once and not be an idiot. Sorry, it's literally been years since I've played this world. Like fully 100% like through. This is, uh, the, I guess you could say my fabled stopping place in this game is, uh, literally, I think, this whole area of the game. Actually, what do we got over here? I think that's, uh, for an entirely separate Jiggy, so I don't want to go for that just yet. Thank God for the double jump secret thing. Double jump, secret thing, you know, one the kids are all into. I think this just leads to the train station, so I might be going completely wrong way here. 
Maybe I could go up those, uh, things. Yeah, that's the train station. We don't need train station. We can't even unlock the train station yet. But, uh, something unique about this world is that it has two train stations. Which I guess you could probably guess, since this world is damn well big enough to be uh, two worlds, considering it has an ice and a fire side. But yeah, it's just an interesting fact there. Whoa! I was so not going to bug you if you had let me pass right there. That would have been awesome. But he did. He did. Then again, he also did knock me down here, which is where the move is. But I was going to grab that warp pad. Ugh. Okay, let's learn our shack pack is what I believe it is. Yup. This one makes you safe and small to fit through gaps in a wall. Hold LRR and then press right stick down. Protect in liquids you will be. Doesn't make any damn sense. I think originally it was Z and then bottom C, so you see how that would uh <laughs> make more sense. Okay, well, since that guy, that hand over there fucked up my mojo, and now I'm gonna have to find a different way to get that warp pad. I could just fly up to it, which would probably be a smart idea to do. Whoa! Hey, is this a kickball arena? Oh, spoilers. Yes, there's a kickball arena in this world as well. Another one. No, but that is another Jiggy that is fairly simple to get, but I don't feel comfortable getting it as just Banjo. So we're gonna wait till we have Kazooie. Oh man. Eventful day today. Ugh. I had a... Well, yeah, an eventful day today. Because it was actually, believe it or not, my last day of school. So with the shack pack, we can now go into hot liquids like this. And it's no problem. That water's far too hot for our swimming pool. What does that even mean? Well, this is... Oh, right, you can't do that until... <sighs> Once again, another thing we can't do for another world. Or until another world. But then again, that counts as a Jolly Rogers Lagoon jiggy, not really a uh, Hellfire Peaks one. Which, yeah, once again, spoilers, that's where that water goes, is to Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Because remember, they were complaining about sewage, and then they were complaining about temperature of the water, so... That's basically how we fix the temperature of the water. Dude, <laughs> stop knocking me off! Like, seriously. I told you, those damn hands, it's like... Those are literally, like, contender for most annoying bad guy in this game. And you can't do a damn thing about them either. Like, you can shoot ice eggs, but what's the fucking point? They're there and then they're gone, like, so fast that it doesn't even matter. Why would you waste eggs getting rid of them for, like, a few seconds? My god, did I just fall off of there? What are we on time? Man, this episode's almost over, and all I've been doing is just jumping around, dying, and learning moves, and getting one jiggy. Which I guess is not that bad, but... So apparently, I'm a fuckface, which, I think, let's be honest, we all knew that. Wow, okay, fuck that, getting back that way. I'm taking my damn shortcut that I unlocked. You know what, screw you guys. I could care less for your potato chips. Damn. Damn. There's a Jinjo I'm trying to get to, but... <laughs> Ugh. it's The game's not cooperating with me right now, if you can tell. It's just not having it. So does this cave right here lead just down to the one below? Because if so, that is super lame. Okay, then that is super lame. Get out of here. Okay. Well, I know it's by Mumbo Skull. I probably missed it because of these fuckers. No, you... Really? Really? You really gonna do me like that, Hellfire Peaks? You gonna fuck up my whole LP like that? <sighs> I'll see you next time. 
Uh, thank you for watching this episode of Banjo Tooie. Um, it's a whole lot more to this world than I've shown so far. Like I said, I've only explored like half the fireside. So, um, yep, yeah, next time we'll do a kickball tournament and some other shit. Uh oh. The dragon's coming for me. <laughs> oh!